fish. Hey, I got a fish. Is that what it is? Good job, baby. That's not a little flounder. Can you help with me? Actually, a good flounder. Redfish is swimming across the surface. Right, 28 plus clock, about 20 feet, and a big fish came up on the surface. That's seaweed. This is a fish that came up and then went back down. This is like the darkest, the deepest little hole right here. This is where, where we wanted to be, is right in this area. There's one in here. This is the. Two days of fishing. That one? Yep. A little something. Maybe one of your flounder fish weigh you just got you just got heavy. Flounder. Oh nice one. I'm just glad I didn't get skunked. Yeah, he's 14 for sure. I'll measure him just because, but he's a good fish. Thank you. Get my shrimp back. Cast four or five more times if you want to. And then move. No rush. We got plenty of deep water in front of us. I was just gonna move just a hair south. Don't do anything yet. Stay right here. It's another flat one. Flat one? Flounder? No, we'll pass a few more times right up ahead of us. He's a little smaller, we'll let him go, okay? We'll catch any big ones, we'll keep them. Flounder. I catch a lot of flounder. Uh 
Uh-huh. Power pole down. Told you they were over here. Power pole down. There we go. Thank you. See, it's worth the move. Let's see if I can catch that redfish I need. And then we'll head back. What do we got? Hey, I knew he was in here. A little shithead. <laughs> He's the smallest redfish in the world. Hey, it's so pretty. Nice. All right, I'm almost done. There's another. There's a little patch of clear water right here. I want to throw into. That's right in the middle of it. Oh! Are you kidding me? That was a much better fish. Right where I called him at too. That was a good fish. I never saw it. Oh, that was a good fish. Oh. Oh. That's two fish in this little pocket. That fish swam right at me. It was probably a good redfish. I think we found a school of redfish. Right up ahead of us, you wanna throw in there? That's what it is, a school of redfish. It's been right ahead of us. Yeah, that's a good red. Green spot, right at yeah. Throw right in there. There's a bunch of them there. That's the third one I've looked in there. Do we want to keep any red fish or anything? No.
You're good. Right in there. There's three fish out of that little hole. Lift us up, let us drift just a little bit. Oh, never mind. Try to drift just a little bit. Get one in there. Did you see that little green line? That's where they're sitting, right in there. Oh. Throw as far as you can towards that green line. And then slow bounces back. That's perfect. That's perfect, right in the center. And just pop, 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 pop. Slow bounces. Just keep it close to the bottom. A couple little bounces. Knew they were in here somewhere. We just had to find them. I had another bite. Go ahead and catch that trout out of there for a slam. There's that little green pocket those fish were sitting in. You see where the water gets really dirty? Mm -hmm. If you threw to that and brought it back to you, you'd come right through where those fish were. What you said? I had a little, a little oh, 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 I did too. Oh, there you go. Get down on him. Nice. Crank down on him. Good job, baby. Ooh, let me see. He's a little <laughs> way over exaggerated. <laughs> that was your typical hook set, though. You hook it so hard, the hook goes behind your head. He's a good little fish. Nothing wrong with him. Get him. That's where they like to bite it, right out there. Right there in that clean water. Yeah, good job, bro. Slayer. Nice. We both got bit at the same time. Oh, really? You sealed the deal and I did. Go for it, Boo. Good cast. Nice, that's perfect. You're right on the edge of that color. Oh, I just felt. Nice little red. I freaking jacked him out of the water. Yeah, you did. Look how cute he is. He's got a beautiful blue tail. He is beautiful. Get that tail on the camera. Isn't that pretty? He is beautiful. I might have to get a new little shrimp face.
two for dinner. We'll clean these up real quick and take them back home with us. We're gonna clean these up to uh, fry them. We had some the other day and Corey really liked it that way. So we're gonna hook these up. Super easy to, to fillet. Just follow that center line down and then just peel them off the back. There's not a whole lot to them. One. Follow the back bone. And then there's two fillets on the back side. Same way, just a little bit thinner. Flounder ready to be fried. Do it one more again, just in case you missed it. Cut around his head. Keep as much meat as possible, a little angle to your blade. Nice and clean there, and then find the center line. And just make a cut all the way down to the bone. Right along that, right along the backbone there. Careful peeling it all the way back. Just for continue the process until you get him all the way off. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Here's our sound on right there. Follow that all the way down. Same process, follow the back. Once you pick a flounder out, they're probably one of the easier ones to clean. Probably speckled trout. Trout's easier, obviously, but nothing to them. There we go. We'll go back and skin these out here in a second. Just getting the meat off the backbone now. Far just as easy. Lay it down, get it started, hang on to the skin, just work your way down. Take them right off the skin. Nice and perfect like that. Beautiful. Eat. 
easy, easy. Make a cut, already skin. I'll leave a little chunk there to hang on to. All it on down. Too easy. Beautiful fillets ready for the frying pan. Flounder, ready for the frying pan.